Today we're going to look at how we can style a background image to make it look good with Flexbox. Let's begin. Let's take a look at what we're going to make in this video. So here we have the background image and our text. This is what we're going to make in this video. This is uh, made with Re Create React App. Just do the command on the screen after you have uh, installed a node on your computer. So that gets you this boilerplate code that we don't need uh, partially at least. We can just take away the unnecessary parts. Now let's begin by creating our flex container. This container will hold our image through a CSS property called background image. Let's call it image container. And this image container will, will hold a h1 tag that will be our text. Let's just take a look at that in the browser. And here we see the text. Let's head over to our CSS file and just delete what we don't need, which is basically everything. And let's create our own style for the image container. This will have display flex, so it becomes a flex element. Let's take a look at how that looks. So now the style has changed and our text is pushed to the left side of the screen. Let's create our background image with the property background image with an URL that points to the image we want to load which is the mountain image we saw earlier. It doesn't display right away, but if we refresh, we see parts of the image there. Let's head back to our code. Now we want to display that image by increasing the height of it so it's easier to see. And here we see the image, but the problem is it's, it's uh, duplicated. So let's take care of that by a background property called background repeat and no repeat as the value. This ensures that the background image just uh, only uh, displays once. Let's make some small adjustments to our text by creating a style, by creating a class to that h1 tag, just called title. And in our CSS file, we will just to test, change the color of the text to white, just to see that we have uh, connected it correctly. And we see the text turned white, so that works fine. Now let's move this text to the middle of the screen using justify content, which is a flexbox property and set it to center. And there we see the text is centered. Let's vertically align it to the center as well with align items, which centers all items within that flex container. So here we see the height of our element, which is the entire page because of our height value is set to 100 VH. Let's change that to a pixel value. And now our uh, image is cut somewhat. Let's increase our font size on the title text. And let's just change the color back to uh, black just by deleting our, uh, our style there. Also, we want the text to be a little bit higher by putting a margin to the bottom. Here we realize we have a little error that our image is displaying. We see that we have a lot of space on the right side, so we need to fix that. Let's add another background property, background size, and set it to cover. This will ensure that the image takes up the entirety of its container. But as you can see, the image is, is still a little weird. So we need to change where the image is focused on. 
So we will position the image to the center. So we see the center of the image. And now when we shrink the screen, we see the image change size somewhat, but this looks much better. And the text stays at the same, uh, same place. So we see at the drawing that our, the text is a little bigger and a little higher. So let's just change the font size values and the margin values to correct that. And now we see the image uh, from uh, the beginning should be fairly similar to what we see here. Thank you for watching this video and please like and subscribe if you want to see more. See you in the next one.